Well, actually, we spoke about this uh, for around six months, one year. Uh, we knew that we had to celebrate somehow 20 years of the release of our first record, so Legendary Tales. And of course, 20 and more years of history of the band. Um, so we had many proposals to do this, uh, festivals, summer festivals in Europe. And so in the end we decided to make it. Um, and it's great, I mean, the, the synergy between the band, all the band members are... I think it's even better than before because we knew... Now we, we know each other better, we are more experienced, and, and so the band is going very good. And this worldwide tour was for sure the most successful tour ever for the band. We had two uh, Latin American uh, tours, mm -hmm. and still, uh, also in the second leg, we had sold out shows in Paraguay, Buenos Aires, uh, Colombia. Uh, it was great. I mean, uh, when you do a festival like in Bogota with 10 bands, like Hammerfall, uh, other bands, you have all, almost 3,000 people. And the day after, you go alone in a smallest city. No opening band, nothing, 2,000 people. So that means that people love the band. And uh, everything is going good. We are happy. Actually, we have five or six original members because uh, um, Patrice was uh, the bass player for Rhapsody. Oh, look at really it's Rhapsody, doesn't matter. Uh, for more than 15 years. And uh, Alexander Oltva is the original drummer. The first show ever of this band was with Oltva. So uh, we have, of course, the main composer, guitar player, the main man with the idea of the concept of the saga, Luca Trilli, the original and only singer of the band. Uh, so, I mean, five, it, it's missing just the keyboard player, mm -hmm. but uh, I mean, we ask him like six, seven, seven times, I guess. Um, SMC didn't want to join us, so, and we respect him. That's why we don't have any keyboard player on stage. Uh, it's a kind of respect. Uh, and I also think uh, it was a good move because uh, whatever guy you take doesn't make any sense. But we are happy anyway, you know, and uh, we wish him good luck and uh, it's fine. It's not easy when it's like this because of course we have many CDs and so uh, or even if you play like two hours uh, you know, uh, it's hard when you have 100, 125, 130 songs, two hours, it's, it's like 15, 17, 18 songs, not more. Uh, we think we, we did our best because uh, the reaction of the fans were great, so uh, I think the set list is, uh, is very good for the fans because uh, everybody's singing all the songs. And we, we, we fought especially about the first four records, so the first part of the career of the band. And, uh, and especially, of course, Symphony of Enchanted Lands, that is the second record. We played in, in completely in the first leg, and now we, we play also something like Alpha of Power of the Dragon Flame, Alpha of Symphony, some from the Victory, some from all. Fans like it, and nobody Honestly, nobody asked me to add some new songs, so I think we will finish the tour also soon in Europe with kind of the same set list. Ah, it's a good question, but uh, we were thinking about this, but uh, in the end we will not release it, you know, uh, for many reasons that personally I can't really explain. Uh, we could have some trouble, maybe releasing this, or so it's better not to do it. And then anyway, we played a worldwide tour, so a lot of shows. So we are happy anyway, and the fans have the chance to see us uh, in many places because we went in Japan, China, Korea, Taiwan, 
two times in South America, a summer festival in Europe, and now we will do uh, 24 shows in Europe. Uh, so the two was uh, enough big, and uh, let's see if we can add some something more. Uh, I'm not sure because uh, it, it will be not easy, and then I will have also a busy schedule with Angra, mm -hmm. uh, which I really like as band, and we have a, a very great new record. So for me, it will be like uh, immediately after that I stop the tour with Rhapsody, I, I will have the new European tour with Angra, and then we have to go in Japan, then USA, South America, so we'll be, this year, I guess, will be really interesting for me. Uh, with Rhapsody, we were thinking about this, but uh, the time is getting short. So, I can see that, it, from my point of view, it's, it will be more easy that I will be in Quebec, Montreal, in Toronto, uh, with Angra. I think we have a new record, we have fixing the tour, so I see really a good chance to be there with Angra, more than with Rhapsody. Uh, there are many. Uh, the best memory is uh, the, the, the days that I spent with Mr. Christopher Lee in studio. Uh, the talk that we had about movies, and many things, about some Italian actors that he knew. Uh, first tour ever in South America, I remember Chile. <laughs> we had uh, 600 people after the show. I made two shows in one day because the promoter said to me, hey Fabio, uh, the venue is full. I have uh, almost 2,000 people outside. <laughs> For the band is fine. Can you sing two shows in the same day? I said, uh, let me think. All right, uh, let's do it. But after the second show, we had like uh, 600 people outside following the van. <laughs> and I mean really following. The van couldn't move. So uh, when we were out, there was the bodyguards or something. So me, Luca, we separate. And I remember that I spent like one hour almost in a restaurant. I saw a restaurant, I go inside. Uh, the fans were, uh, you know, because I like the fans, I like, of course, but, you know, when you have 500 kids all together on you, it's kind of uh, not easy. And I remember the first bass player, he lose this because of the fans. Uh, but it was good for me, you know, for me it was perfect because I chose this restaurant. So while all the others were finish somebody to sign, somebody. I was taking a good food and, uh, and that was good. My God, the first one was a nightmare. Nightmare. We played with uh, Stratovarius, a long two actually. Actually this two was amazing because we, people did a new Sonata Artica. Uh, the opening band was Sonata Artica, so they were young and nobody knows them. Rhapsody and Stratovarius was a great tour, seven weeks, all Europe, 39 shows, uh, but actually we didn't have any experience. I mean, I was uh, singing for Labyrinth, for Athena, for many other bands, but uh, some guys in Rhapsody, they didn't have a live experience. So I was discussing this with our first manager, uh, Lim Schnur. I said, are you sure we should do seven weeks tour? As the first thing ever? I mean, it's kind of big. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. And the music of Rhapsody, of course, it's not easy. Uh, it's uh, kind of... Uh, you have really to be a good musician and uh, practice. Um, and we didn't have so much time to rehearse all the songs. And plus, you have a band like Strotobarius, that is, they were touring a lot. So they were really tired, really a good live band. So the first show was kind of, uh oh, uh, I don't hear the choirs, samplers, keyboards, uh, but you know, after one week was good. And, uh, and I think this tour was really, really important for, not just for us, 
for the three bands, Stratovirus, Rhapsody and South Africa. Was that sold out to almost everywhere and um, was a great tour and a great start. Yeah, I mean, I get used to this ship. Uh, I remember the first time that I was here, the ship was smaller, a different one. Uh, I was here with Camelot. Um, I like, I mean, um, there are a lot of people that I know. Uh, I can say that almost half of the people are the same every year. And uh, there's a good reaction and uh, interaction between the, 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 the fans, the bands, uh, I like this because uh, every uh, the kids here and the fans in general they are cool. Maybe they ask you a photo or something, but you never found somebody that is three hours. So it's amazing, you know. Uh, it's like um, old friends. Everybody's smiling and uh, is trying to have a good time, and this is important, you know. Also for the band because it makes the band uh, to be. Uh, relax it in a way, you know, you don't think about the show. It's like a kind of holiday or something like this. And then doesn't matter, you know, because it, when you think too much in something, then the result can be so la la. Uh, this is also my way, you know, in life in general, not just in music, you know. You have to be like a easy. <laughs> if you have good quality, you will have a good show. If you are a man that is okay but was not made for this. Doesn't matter if you care, if you dress, if you rest, the show will be okay, just okay. So this is important. And most of the guys that are playing here are great. I mean, I saw uh, Dark Tranquility, Meshuga, Sepultura, Water Show, and uh, yeah, I really like a lot of bands here. Yeah, uh, they offered to me to do this CD with some singer, so I was proposing uh, to Frontiers Record to, to work with Alessandro Conte because he's a friend of mine. And uh, I introduced him to look at really when he separated the first time with Rhapsody. He was about to take a German singer, uh, not because I am against German singer, but uh, before this, I say, look, I have the guy for you. It's Italian. He can sing all the Italian songs from Rhapsody, uh, English, everything. Uh, the sound of the voice it reminds somehow Michael Kiske. Uh, so I think it's the right guy. And Luca said, "Wow, thank you, Fabio. I didn't know him." And I think this record is great. It's a very nice pro progressive metal record, elegant, with some uh, Camelot. Halloween, symphonics, uh, it's well done and it's very nice. Then I have, of course, the new Engra record in one month will be out and I am really proud of, about this because I think the band will finally reach something new, a new sound, fresh, modern, heavy. Uh, we have Alisa, my friend of Arch Enemy with us. We have Kiko still uh, as a guest in one song. We have also a very famous pop singer from Brazil, uh, Ali, uh, Sandy. This uh, beautiful uh, Brazilian singer, she was, uh, I remember she was singing with Andrea Bocelli in Brazil. So this city is, I think will be something interesting and most of the fans will, will say, wow, it's something fresh finally and good. And it's important, especially in 2018 to have, you know, something cool because most of the bands are playing the same, especially in power metal music. This sounds all the same. So I am happy and I have a lot of things to do with uh, Alessandro Conti, with uh, Angra, with Rhapsody to finish the tour. We look at maybe we are thinking to release, uh, to, 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 to create a new thing. So let's see in the future. Yeah, yeah, uh, je voudrais uh, je voudrais uh, 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 in Quebec, in Toronto, in Montreal, and uh, Abiento, um, the fans, in the prochaine fois, in the prochaine shows, the Angra, in September. Bijou.